Okay, story time. About 15 years ago, I was just about to get married, and like in the tuxes, the whole bit, and my dad looks at me and he says, son, no matter what your wife makes to eat, you eat it and you ask for seconds. No questions asked. Well, a strange thing happened. I'm in this small town that I used to live in, like immediately after we got married, and we didn't have much money, and, and we had to just save as much as we could by shopping at the Benton Dent store. So this is the Benton Dent store that we used to shop at. And uh, one day, my wife thought it would be a good idea to economize on one particular product that you just don't economize on. And uh, it was a defining moment in our marriage. So uh, let's go see if they have it still. Okay, here we go. Sauces. It's on this aisle. I've got to say, the uh, the quality of this grocery store has gone through the roof. Like, they're, they're selling good stuff these days. Look how shiny the floor is. But here we go. Hurry up. This is the Sloppy Joe. There it is. This was a turning point in my marriage. And if I get this for my wife, she's instantly going to know what this means. What are you doing? I'm cooking in our kitchen. All right, so I got something for you. Yeah. And I want to see what you think about it. Okay. You know where I shopped, right? I do. Hold on, I, I just, okay, I do know where you shopped. Please, please say. <laughs> it's the worst meal <laughs> that I've ever made, ever. Would you like to explain the history of this? Um. So, when we first married, we did not have a lot of money, and I shopped at basically the Bent and Dent grocery store, and one night made some Sloppy Joes, not with Manwich, but with a dented can of the off-brand that the store sold, <laughs> and I made it, and I took a bite of it, and the first bite I took... I got up from the dinner table and I threw my entire sandwich out and said I refused to eat dinner even though I cooked it. And you, on the other hand, ate the sandwich and asked for seconds in fear that I would never cook again. And, and what did that do for our marriage? We're 15 years in the, in the future. What's happening right here? I'm cooking dinner. <laughs> <laughs> yeah? Yes. So did that play out well for me? It did play out well for you. Very well for you. All right. <laughs> So, young man, young woman, if your spouse cooks for you, eat it and ask for seconds. Even if it's awful and she stands up and throws it away herself. <laughs> Smarter every day. I thought you'd like that. That's very funny. Isn't that cool? Did you have to like hunt it down? I did. That store has changed, by the way. How could it have changed? It's like, it's got like really good products now. Oh. It was literally dented cans. Yeah, it's it's like really ago. nice now. What is this? Uh, it was a Parmesan chicken. Nice. Uh, and roasted God. potatoes. That's what I'm talking about. And there's a spinach salad mm. under here. Come on, five second roll. And I have added into a HelloFresh with some corn and fettuccine. Sounds good to me. God, those potatoes are good. Dang. You cook a lot better now. <laughs> it's a lot healthier too. <laughs> this place has changed. Yes. How, how has it changed? Like, it used to not be this good. Your products are better too, aren't they? I would hope so. I think they are. 